In this video, we are going to talk about how to define the magnetic field. So let's begin. Defining magnetism. The force of attraction or repulsion due to a bar magnet or between two bar magnets is called magnetic force and the phenomenon is known as magnetism. In order to explain this, what I'm going to do, I'm going to consider a bar magnet. So this is my bar magnet where this is my south pole and this is north pole. So basically, if we consider a bar magnet, then bar magnet has both south pole and north pole together. And we cannot separate these two poles from the bar magnet. They coexist. If we consider two bar magnets in such a way that north pole is close to the south pole or south pole is close to the north pole, then there will be a force of attraction between these two magnets. On the other hand, if we consider a bar magnet in such a way that north pole is facing north pole and south pole is facing south pole, then the two magnets will ripple. Or in other words, we can say that unlike attract, this simply means that north-south or south-north attract and like such as north-north and south-south ripple. So basically, if we bring two bar magnets close to each other and if they are unlike, they will attract but if they are like, they will ripple. Now, let's consider a current carrying conductor. So this is my current carrying conductor. What I'm doing, I'm considering a compass needle close to the current carrying conductor when there is no current in the conductor. Since there is no current in the conductor, there will be no deflection in the compass needle. Now let's consider a current carrying conductor where the current is moving upward. Then as you can see, there is a deflection in the compass needle because due to the flow of electric current, there is a magnetic field developed by the current carrying conductor and the direction of the magnetic field is inward. Now let's consider another situation where the current is flowing downward and as we can see, there is a deflection in the compass needle and the compass needle is going away from the current carrying conductor. This simply means that the direction of the magnetic field is different when the current is going downward and the direction of the magnetic field will be outward. Now let's consider these two cases closely and as we can see when the current was moving up the direction of the magnetic field was different than when the current was moving down. Now let's summarize the situation of the current carrying conductor. So as you can see, if there is no current flowing in the conductor, there is no magnetic field. But if there is a flow of electric current in a conductor, then the magnetic needle or the compass needle will show the deflection, which simply means that there is a magnitude of magnetic field due to the flow of electric current. Now let's talk about some properties of the magnetic field. So the first property is a magnetic field is created at all the points in the space surrounding a current carrying conductor. Second point is magnetic field B is a vector quantity. It has both magnitude as well as direction. The magnitude is called the magnetic strength B. And the last point is the magnetic field exerts force on magnetic poles. The force on the north pole is parallel to magnetic field and the force on the south pole is opposite to magnetic field. And this is how we will define the magnetism or the magnetic field due to a bar magnet and current carrying conductor.